This is the screening and management of Barrett esophagus. If a patient has multiple risk factors for Barrett esophagus, that includes the following, chronic GERD, so for example, more than five years of GERD, male sex, white race, hiatal hernia, central obesity, tobacco use, or a first degree relative with Barrett esophagus or esophageal adenocarcinoma, then you should do a screening upper GI endoscopy. Then based on the changes in the distal epithelium, if they have columnar epithelium or intestinal metaplasia, that's like goblet cells, you can kind of categorize them as no dysplasia, low grade dysplasia, and high grade dysplasia. If they have no dysplasia, you want to start them on PPIs, proton pump inhibitors, and repeat the endoscopy at some interval. If they have low grade dysplasia, you also want to start them on PPIs, then you want to do surveillance or endoscopic eradication of the low grade dysplasia. If they have high grade dysplasia, you also want to give them PPIs and definitely do endoscopic eradication.